Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is the Money Flow Show with Vegas and Joe. And really excited to have uh, Josie on the show. She's going to become a regular on the YouTube show. And what we're going to be doing is talking about one pick each week uh, where we've identified some money flow. And we are going to share uh, the chart, what's going on with the company, any kind of news, any kind of catalyst any kind of money flow and kind of give you guys some parameters to look at and monitor throughout the week to see if this could be a possible trade idea that you would consider. These are swing trade ideas. These are not day trades. So when we talk about the levels later on in the show, um, take note of the levels that Josie will talk about. So before we get started, Josie, let's turn it over to you. Welcome to the show. I'd love to hear more about you and also hear about the Tesla news. Yeah, thank you, Vegas. Thank you for having me on your show. Um, yeah, so a little bit about myself. I've been trading for about six years and about six years now, five years with you, as you know, and um, primarily uh, I am a day trader, you know, I'm a momentum trader. I like to, you know, follow the price action and the volume. I do this part time because I do work full time remotely from home. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, try to find some kind of passive income and I decided to learn the market and learn how to trade. So um, that's pretty much um, about me. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Love hearing about people using trading as another source of income. That's wonderful. Maybe you can inspire, you know, other people or other women out there that want to learn. It is never too late to learn. So Josie, let's talk about uh, Tesla. I was in the news on Friday. I uh, was actually going about my day. Market was closed. <laughs> and then all of a sudden... <laughs> I got a message from you on Discord saying Tesla boom. So it's <laughs> like, what the hell's going on? So why don't you tell us what happened and right. uh, what made what made the boom? Yeah, so Tesla popped after um, after hours. So supposedly there was um, a San Francisco jury ruled on Friday that mm -hmm. um, they were in favor on um, Elon Musk's um, class action, uh, you know, shareholder lawsuit. Um, it, it happened in 2018. There was about um, the funding secured um, lawsuit and um, he wanted to take his comp company private, Tesla. So um, yeah, so that's what it was about. And uh, Elon also, he tweeted out that, um, you know, he was very appreciative and that uh, he basically said, quote unquote, thank goodness the wisdom of the people have prevailed. So uh, yeah, good news. And um, hopefully, you know, this can drive Tesla, you know, up on Monday and, um, you know, let's see what Tesla will do for us. Well, you know what, so I love Tesla as a company and uh, it is a tough stock to trade sometimes because the thing is with this kind of stock, like when it does go, it goes and when it pulls back, it pulls back. So definitely yeah. looking forward to seeing how this trade behaves and it has a great momentum actually last week as well. So let's take a look here at uh, the money flow. So as you guys know, we like to follow the money flow and uh, what I'm going to show you right now is the cheddar flow so cheddar flow is one of the systems that provides options flow dark pool flow and you could see here on tesla the put to call like the call flow versus the put flow you can see here more bullish 71 percent versus the bears 29 percent. so quite the spread there what was interesting to me in particular was last minute like around you know a few minutes before four you could see here a couple puts coming through, but look at these crazy strikes, like 280 March 10 and like 217.50 for next for this coming week. So very interesting. If I scroll further down, I mean, you could see here, these are it's sorted by the time of day. And you could see, look how aggressive they were getting like late in the day, like two, like look at this, 222.50, 232.50, all for this coming week, Feb 10. I mean, wow. they're really like, counting or betting it looks like they're betting on a move to the upside we have a golden sweeper here for 2024 this is a leap 185 this is an in the money one 1 1.2 million sweeper but you could see here like look at these look at those strikes here 250 240 this is monthlies 
I mean, 280 for next year, uh, for 2023. For oh no, this is March. Sorry, not next year. Wow, that's a crazy one. Um, so some really crazy strikes here. So what's good to watch here is not just the flow, options flow, uh, but we also like to follow the dark pool. And you could see here at four o'clock, shortly after the market closed, uh, some dark pool prints coming in here uh, uh, in terms of the number of shares and the dollar value. So 20.2 million, 51.3. But we have some other ones later, earlier in the day. Look at this one here around one o'clock in the afternoon, 116, 800,000 shares, 154 million. Another one here, 530,000. 104 million here's another one for 158 million i mean my gosh like did these guys know that news was coming this this that friday i mean you know how that they say you know usually the print comes first and then comes the news so again we just really don't know uh how the market will react i mean we saw you told me boom on friday that was a nice little pop so we need to see follow through this week so if i take a look here at the chart on tesla uh, this is here some uh, parameters, by the way, uh, to Viper Algo. The website's called viperalgo.com. Shout out to them. They're letting me test pilot their algorithms, just trying to see how it goes. You could see here it's set up to have buys and sells. This is really good for like day trading. Um, but you could see here on Viper Algo, for example, they're going to go, it's saying as of Friday's close, long over 191.15, targeting right now 194.92. But um, really for swing trades, really not going by that. So Josie, let's talk about the levels for Tesla. What are you looking at for to go long on Tesla and what would be the stop loss area? Well, um, looking at the chart, you know, based on the money flow, um, if Tesla breaks $200, okay, mm -hmm. this, um, you know, based on the money flow, we can see Tesla to move a lot higher so um basically i have mapped out tesla if it breaks 200 we have um a target of 205 210 212 50 215 and as high as 225 tesla can go so um there's really if it breaks 200 we see a big move coming um with tesla Okay. And if you look at here, this is, I'm showing right now, a weekly chart. This is the Viper Algo. Like they like it long, even over 178.76. So that's interesting. It's already met the target. But if I go here to your level here of around 200, uh, I really like this pocket pivot that I'm seeing here on the weekly. I wouldn't be surprised to see this go around 207 and then maybe around 226.33. So you know what? That 225 is actually a pretty good target. Um, and, you know, Viper here is saying potential here, if it was to break that, I mean, potential at 245. And then I guess this have, they have another crazy one here at 301. But we're not going to go that far. Let's stick to your targets of potential 225. So where would the bear zone be? The bear zone would be under 190. I okay. So 190 would be like an area where we'd probably not want to be in this trade and probably right. would be some weakness happening on the stock. So that's quite interesting. So very interesting here with Tesla, with the money flow. Uh, we're definitely going to be watching here to see what happens with Tesla this week. So I guess let's talk about what kind of contracts we're looking to take. So on Tesla, if I take a look here at Tesla, um, the options flow, I guess we're going to be looking at the, uh, March 17. And could you, are you able to tell me like on your dashboard? Because I can't, I'm trying to pull it up here. Um, what it would cost for a strike of let's say 220, 225. And what I'm going to do here is on Cheddar Flow, I kind of want to see like which, like I'm talking like March. So I'm going to try to sort here if they have anything from March 17. But if you could tell me if you have anything there for March 17 on your dashboard, open interest. Right. So um, these are all, yeah, these so ones all expired. These ones yeah, here. So the open the ones, yeah. The, for the 225 call, okay, expired mm -hmm. March 17th, the open interest mm -hmm. is 4,904, okay, and the volume is 1,066, and that's what it closed at, and the ask at 705 and the bid at 690 for the two. Okay. Yeah. So the 225s are how much? They are 705. For, for March 17th? Correct. Wow, that's pretty expensive. Right. What about the ones for Feb 17? Just curious what those ones are going for. 
Okay, if you give me one second, February 7th. Yeah. I have here uh, some Feb 17s last minute on Friday. They were buying 280s, which is a crazy strike. 1,000 contracts for 30 cents. I mean, this, they're really going nuts here with this strike. Yeah, so and they even got some 185s at 550. So oh, those ones are Feb 3rd. Yeah, go ahead. The February 17th actually looks a lot better uh, in terms of, uh, actually, no, the 220s look a lot better in terms of open interest and volume. So mm -hmm. the open interest is over 30,000 and the volume is over 13,000. So um, those look a little bit better than the March in terms of mm -hmm. open. What, what is the price of those ones? The ask is 305 and the bid 293. Okay, and then we also have some Tesla flow here, also Feb 17 monthly, actually. You got 240 calls, they bought these at 129. They got some 250s, they bought at 86 cents. So there's all kinds of strikes. So really what the, what's gonna be a key level to watch is actually the, um, is to actually watch for the break over this $200 level that Josie was talking about. So if you're looking to trade Tesla, watch for the break over $200 and uh, stop loss under 190 and this would be a swing trade very important with options in particular you must pick the right expiry date you know if you're going to do a weekly contract um you know it's going to take time for this to move unless it gaps up nice tomorrow i have no i mean it's hard to predict but um you know if you pick the right expiry date you, you had first of all less stressful um, but you have more time to let the trade work and head towards those aggressive targets because that 225 is pretty aggressive. So, you know, that's expecting a big move on Tesla within one week. So a swing trade with more time would be obviously better, but obviously you can still day trade this as well. So it's definitely be, we're looking forward to seeing what Tesla does. So we want to thank everyone for listening to us today. Thank you for coming on to the show. Really appreciate having you, Josie. Look forward to talking to you guys all next week. And let's see what the market's going to do. Good luck, everyone, in the market. And uh, let's see what Tesla does. And uh, Elon, he says uh, 420. So I wonder what that means. Stay tuned. Bye for now.